week on an all-new episode of Babes Having Babies, we visit Oberlin Park, Kansas and meet Cezanne Marguerite, a young girl with a penchant for unprotected sex, nip slips, and berets. And take a look, it's her best friend, Brittany Matthews. She's slutty, she enjoys hand jobs, and loves yelling at people. It's all this week on Babes Every Babies! Today for lunch, I had lunch with my two best friends, Brittany Matthews and Shea Van Buren. Oh, Brittany, are you enjoying your crepe filled with Nutella and whipped cream? Yes, Cezanne. Thank you so much for picking my lunch out for me. But we should probably get going, don't you think? Brittany... Sit down. Enjoy yourself. Fourth period doesn't start for another 25 minutes. Relax, old friend. Brittany Matthews is not my friend. Brittany Matthews is a monster. If Satan himself crawled out of hell, landed on Earth, and vowed to destroy all of humanity with a fiery apocalyptic plague, Brittany Matthews would f*** him in the ass with his own pitchfork until he bled out and died. And if that doesn't paint a clear enough picture... I once saw her watch an entire sneezing panda video without cracking a smile once. I will not stop until she is revealed once and for all for being the two-time potato mouth whorebag that she is. Oh, my friends, this has been one of my favorite lunch periods of all times. I couldn't agree more. You know, at first I wasn't sure Cezanne and I would end up becoming best friends. Because, well, she suffers from clinical denial, which she would think she would get treated for considering she gets free health care. Because she's from Canada. (laughs) We all humor her delusions of being French because the doctors say that's what's best. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm taking care of her like you would take care of a pet. Like, like a little dog. (laughs) Yeah, like a little female dog, which I guess you would call a bitch. So in the context of this metaphor, Cezanne Marguerite is a total bitch. (laughs) And Shay, well, there's really no metaphor for her. She just sucks a lot of dick. Okay, so is everybody ready to go? Okay, let's go. Uh, Gay Van Buren? What do you think you're doing eating at the center lunch table? Your ban was never lifted. Besides, I always just assumed you poured your food directly into the toilet just to save yourself a step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought, um, uh, I, I thought, um, you, you usually put your food, um, in, in your butt because, um, uh, Tr- Trisha, are the, you like, no, 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 a no, 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 you put your food in your butt and then you, you poop the. Trisha, no. You, you poop from your butt. And, I'm sorry. No, mine was better. Just I'm, leave it. I, I thought I had that one. Leave it. Oh, Mackenzie, I didn't realize this was going to be an issue. I was personally invited to have lunch here by my good friend, Brittany Matthews. <laughs> the day that happens is the day I stick my entire fist in my. No, it's true. I invited Shay Van Buren and Cezanne Marguerite to sit at the center lunch table with me. Why the f- would you do that? God damn it. Because Cezanne Marguerite is my best friend. We, oui, that is correct. Mackenzie, would you and Trisha like to sit and eat lunch with us? There is plenty of room next to, how you say, me? Oh, no thanks, Cezanne Marguerite. I'm pretty sure I'm about to wake up right now because only in a f***ing dream would you be Brittany's best friend. Ow, Trisha! Sorry, I, I was just trying to wake you up. But, but then who's going to wake me up? Oh, oh my God, this is my world now. I, I've been inseminated. What? Inseminated. You know, like in that Leonardo DiCaprio movie? Do you mean Inception? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Trisha is a little, how you say, slow? Okay, great. And can we just get that one more time without you saying, how do you say? Oh, we. Oui. And action. Trisha is a little, um... What is the word for slow? Great. Thanks. Brittany, do you mind telling me what the f*** is going on? I'll explain later, Mackenzie, but you're just going to have to trust me that everything is going to be fine. Just as soon as this camera crew is done filming the reality show. Trust you? Really? Kind of like the way Jesus trusted Peter not to deny him three times before the cock crowed? At this rate, I'm going to be naked on a cross with a sword in my stomach by study hall. My doctor said I need to keep calm in order to prevent any further hair loss. Apparently, I lose a hair every time I curse. I've lost 15 f***ing hairs today. Oh, god damn it. Son of a bitch. I'm going to be bald. Uh, 
Uh, I'm in the Matrix. Uh. Well, just for today, I'll go eat in the multi-purpose room like a goddamn sophomore. But tomorrow, this head all better be back to normal. Because I'll go bald before that bitch sits at my lunch table again. I must say, it was nice sticking it to Mackenzie Zales like that. But I wasn't done with Brittany Matthews yet. Oh, hey guys. God, no. Oh, hey Brittany, are you here to yell at us? Oh, no Blaine, Brittany invited us to lunch because we are, how you say, best friends. Oh yeah, I knew that. Hey Brittany, did I leave a Transformers in the backseat of your car? I want to give my son a present when he's born. Blaine and I used to date. And that's why I always say, trust the Decepticon and you'll get burned. I'm really happy for he and Cezanne. Well, I'll have to check my car, Blaine. It's been a while. A while? It's been a month. And now, for the grand finale. We should invite Brittany to the baby shower. Oh, we? Oui. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, the theme is going to be, <laughs> get this, French. <laughs> We're going to have French toast. A screening of the French Connection. A live performance by French Montana. And I will be dressed as the Statue of Liberty. I bet you didn't know that came from France. Actually, I did know that, Blaine. But you know it didn't come from France. And boom goes the dynamite. This mother beret-wearing, boyfriend-stealing, giggling, stuttering piece of Canadian horse shit. Yeah, I said it. F*** you, Saison Marguerite. F*** you, f*** your boyfriend and the f***ing fetus that's growing inside of the disease-ridden void that you call a goddamn womb. And f*** you, Shay Van Buren. F*** you, you glob of donkey c***. I hope you burn in hell for the things you did today. Because you are not the least bit sneaky. You're not the least bit clever. And your only talent is opening your legs to penises that would rather be inside of me! Wow, Brittany. Wow. You guys want to go watch Dora the Explorer? Oh, we? Oui. Well, I'm more of a Diego man myself. But yeah, okay, I can get into that. Bye! Hey, babe, I just realized I'm wearing your pants, so we're going to need to change clothes. Ah! Oh. Oh. Right above the baby maker. Oh, man. You remind me so much of my mother. Oh, God. So, is this The Matrix? Nope. This is a reality show. This whole time, my life has just been a reality show? Like, The Truman Show? <gasps> the Trisha Show. Not exactly. Oh my god. Are people watching me on TV right now? Oh no, this is never going to make it on TV. Your friends curse way too much. Oh, <laughs> so my life isn't a show. No. Oh, wh what's that? What's that? What are you yelling about? No! Jesus, Trisha, what? What's that? What's the buttons? They're, yeah, they're here for people to subscribe to the show. Oh my god, so my life is a show. For fuck's sake. Oh, oh my god. Subscribe. Subscribe to my life. Right, do it. Do it fast. When the show ends, my life ends. The show is not going to end. Are you sure? Yes. Are you I'm for sure? Cereal? I'm very sure. I need to know. It's not going to end.